Welcome to the Trade Centric University BI Portal Skills Training. In this video, you will acquire essential skills for utilizing BI Portal reports to gain greater insight into buyer activity and harness the full potential of informed decision making. The Business Intelligence Portal offers a range of pre built reports that provide valuable insights into how your buyers are utilizing established connections. These reports can help you to Track the frequency of cart returns by buyers, enabling you to identify areas for improvement. Determine the optimal timing for scheduling system downtime by analyzing the busiest days for trading partner activity. Gain visibility into trading partner behavior, ensuring that you are achieving the expected ROI from your connections. Track the value of purchase orders in relation to the number of returned carts, helping you identify trends and patterns that can inform your decision-making. Let's take a look at the Trade-Centric portal where I will guide you to accessing reports and will demonstrate how to effectively utilize this tool. Once you have logged into the Trade-Centric portal, you will find the reports in the drop-down menu located on the toolbar. Please note that the visibility of these reports is limited to the specific Trade-Centric solutions you are utilizing. In my example report list, there are four reports. The first is an overview report which will pull data across any services you are using such as punch-out sessions, order requests, or order invoices. Each of these three reports will only retrieve data for those specified document services. There are three steps for using reports, and these are the same for any report type. To begin, I will select the overview report, and this opens the filter options. Each time you select a report, establishing your filters is the first step. Second, use the various grouping options to analyze the data in meaningful ways that uncover patterns or trends. Thirdly, if you wish to download the results in CSV format, choose an appropriate export data option from the modal window that is opened when you select export data. This gives you the flexibility to further evaluate the data in other tools or to share with colleagues. Now that you are familiar with the steps involved in generating a report, let's delve deeper into how you can effectively leverage this tool. We'll begin by reviewing a punch-out session report called Percentage of Sessions Returned. This report enables you to gain insight into how often your buyers are accessing your storefront versus how often they are returning a cart to their procurement system. There could be several reasons that contribute to buyers choosing not to transfer a cart. These can include instances where the expected product is unavailable, or if they find a better price from another punch-out vendor, or if the brand does not meet their preferences. These are just a few examples of why buyers might opt to terminate a punch-out session rather than proceeding with cart transfer and requisition creation. Regardless of the specific reason, gaining insight into buyers who exhibit a lower percentage of cart transfers can enable you to utilize these metrics as a basis for initiating productive conversations with your trading partners. To access this report, I will begin by selecting Punch-Out Sessions. Within the Filters area, I have the option to view the data based on the year or the month and year. I can further narrow down the results by applying specific filters for buyers or connections. Additionally, I can choose to include all modes or limit it to production or test modes. If necessary, I can also convert the currency using financial filters. Moving to the Report Focus dropdown, I will locate and select the pre-built report titled Percentage of Sessions Returned. Selecting Update will generate the report. The report presents a range of interactive graphs that provide comprehensive information organized in different ways. To navigate to specific groupings, you have two options. Either select the corresponding group buttons located at the top of the page or scroll directly to the desired graph. When examining the data for the previous year, I can see that of the 806 punch-out sessions, 558 returned carts, accounting for 69.23%. Although there is no universal industry benchmark, your organization might have an internal guideline suggesting that if a trading partner's cart transfer rate falls below 10%, it could be beneficial to export the data and engage in a discussion with the buyer to identify potential issues. 
The data presented in the report can be grouped based on various criteria, including days of the week, hours of the day, and specific connections. One practical application of grouping by weekdays or hours is optimizing the scheduling of system downtime. By leveraging these tools, you can identify the most suitable days and hours to minimize disruption to trading activity. Additionally, grouping by trading partner allows you to assess the ROI associated with these connections. For instance, upon examining the data, I notice that an Ariba Level 1 buyer has only engaged in two punch-outs and transferred a cart only once. In this scenario, it might be prudent to consider reallocating this connection or, at the very least, initiate a conversation with the buyer to explore potential strategies for increasing business engagement. Alternatively, it may be worth re-evaluating the connection allocation if the buyer is predominantly utilizing other purchasing channels. Another effective method for monitoring your business activity is to compare two reports, the total value of returned carts and the order requests report. By examining the total value of returned carts, you can then compare it with the order requests report, which provides detail into the frequency of requisition approvals and the corresponding value they represent. This comparison allows for a comprehensive assessment of the relationship between returned carts and the success rate of order requests. To analyze the relationship between returned carts and order requests, you can apply the total value returned filter within the punch-out sessions report from the report focus dropdown. Applying this filter allows you to observe the total number of returned carts and their corresponding value. To make a meaningful comparison, access the order request report through the reports dropdown in the toolbar. Ensure that the same time frame is selected in the filters and apply the total value filter as well. By doing so, you can review the total number of approved requisitions and the value of those purchase orders. This comparative analysis becomes particularly helpful when you encounter a buyer who consistently returns carts with a high value but has limited or low value purchase orders. In such cases, Initiating a conversation with the buyer to explore opportunities for increasing trading activity would be beneficial. In summary, this video tutorial provided a comprehensive overview of the three-step process for generating reports. It emphasizes the importance of applying appropriate filters, analyzing data with various groupings, and utilizing the option to export to CSV for further analysis or collaboration. Furthermore, the tutorial highlights several valuable types of analysis that can be performed using the reporting tool, including tracking the frequency of cart returns by buyers to identify areas for improvement, analyzing the busiest days for trading partner activity to determine optimal timing for scheduling system downtime, gaining visibility into trading partner behavior to ensure the expected ROI from connections is being achieved, Comparing the value of purchase orders in relation to the number of returned carts, enabling identification of trends and patterns to inform decision making. Thank you for watching this Trade Centric University video tutorial, and we hope you found it informative and helpful.